All right, this is our final installment of part one, uh, the simplified sorting hat. We've got our cardboard chassis, which we've built. Um, as a stretch goal, there's a couple of servos on here. You don't need to do that unless you want to, but they're just fairly basic controls that run off of a single wire plus power and ground to make these things work. Um, and then the main show here is the LEDs we created before, uh, one for each of the sorting houses, and then a fifth one because we had the conductor on the wire. Um, all of these uh, run through um, this hacked um, cable, network cable, and run into our Arduino here. Um, power and ground running off of, uh, on the near side, uh, pin number eight here. This goes to our um, uh, our servo motors, and then pins two, three, four, five, and six go to our red, green, blue, white, and yellow LEDs in there. And I'll draw a circuit diagram and, and put a nicer version out there. But th that's basically a power, ground, servo control, and our colors. Um, and then in terms of the code, we've got two chunks of code. One drives the Arduino, uh, which I'll post on my GitHub. It's pretty basic. Define the pins uh, as output pins, um, two, three, four, five, six for the colors, and then eight for the servo. Um, and then just basically go into a loop and listen for a, for a keystroke sent from the R code, which I'll show you in a second. So if it gets a one, it looks left, two looks ahead, three looks right. And if it gets a ASCII code 103, for example, which is a G, a little G, uh, it'll turn on the green pin there. Uh, so let's go and I will upload uh, the upload the code here to the Arduino. Uh, so that's good. And now we're going to switch over to the R code. Um, and this code, um, we're mainly using the R Python library. Main thing here is to let's use this Python load initialize pi, which I'll run now. And now if I run one, two, three, two, we'll watch the eyes. Left, middle, right, and middle. So our servos are working. And then if we go down here and run R, G, B, W, and Y, and send each of these letters to the system, let's see what happens here. Red, green, blue, white, and yellow. And then if I send a space, uh, they all go off and the system resets. So that is uh, day one, part one of your simplified Harry Potter sorting hat. Um, well, hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.